morning and good afternoon. Uh, this is Kevin here coming from uh, from my house. Uh, I actually live in uh, south of Grand Rapids, Michigan, uh, while the, the farm that uh, we do is in uh, New Era, so that's actually uh, halfway up the state of Michigan along Lake Michigan. We have Samson here today. So what I'm going to be doing today is actually going from home here uh, over to Bay City, Michigan. Uh, it's about a two and a half hour drive um, to pick up a uh, Century sprayer. Uh, so it's a three point, uh, three point boom, or a three point hookup, uh, 60 foot boom. Uh, for me, that just really works well. Um, with the tractor, uh, we have it handles it well. Um, you're not pulling anything additional. Um, uh, mostly, I do drop hoses. Uh, I can do 24 feet at a, 24 rows at a time. Then um, it just uh, with the fields we have, they're sort of misshapen, and uh, you do a lot of tromping on the end rows. Uh, the first year I did it, I actually rented uh, the eight row unit. Um, I did take the duels off the tractor. Uh, before looking at the unit and uh, the unit was spread at, uh, to straddle four rows um, so really taking the duels off uh, was pointless uh, we got to put them back on before the fall when we did gravity wagons but yeah so this is uh, this is a trailer my dad had bought um, to haul well, a lot of things um, but he would haul his uh, 5410 John Deere that you've seen the the uh, loader tractor, uh, but we're going to be taking this today. Um, it's a heavy it's a heavy trailer, so it's three axles. Um, I believe it's a. I'm going to kick myself for not knowing this. 20 foot with a five foot dove. I know it's one or the other. So my dad always said once he got it, he kind of wishes he would have done the uh, the 25 foot with the five foot dove because once we were hauling antique tractors uh, really two is the max so we've had three on here uh, it was the John Deere B the Farmall 300 and then the Alice Chalmers B would actually sit on the back ramps but I don't think it will say on this um, overall it's a 21,000 uh, GBRW uh, more than heavy uh, it pulls really nice, all brakes work. Um, last summer it sat outside, probably more than I would have liked. Uh, so yeah, it has more rust on it than I've used to seeing. Usually it stays inside. I say that and then I have it outside today. But uh, we're gonna get going with this and uh, see how it goes.
later than I had planned, but we got a uh, two and a half dry, hour drive ahead of us. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but I have a passenger today. Samson decided to ride. Unfortunately, uh, he used to have the back seat to himself, uh, but now with the uh, with Hudson in the car seat, uh, he likes to use the car seat as his headrest. So uh, not as much room, but he still fits. But yeah, we'll get going and make it over there, and hopefully have no problem getting it loaded up. Just giving a quick update. Uh, about an hour hour out yet a little bit over an hour um, right now we're currently in the center part of the state um, yeah well, a little bit over halfway there and um, ground right here is different I know I came over here uh, the middle middle of the year last year and uh, some of normally their grounds a lot better but um, last year I think they got hit by the drought even a lot harder than uh, we did on the west side of the state but as you can see the fields fields get bigger um, a lot bigger than I'm used to uh, where I'm at but uh, a lot more open yeah we'll just keep going and uh, should be there in no time Well, we got it. Uh, it was actually pretty easy. Had to change it up a little bit. Um, so uh, with the trailer and with the height of the sprayer with the booms all the way up, it was gonna be 14 feet tall. And uh, the restrictions here in Michigan is uh, that it can't be any taller than 13.6. Um, so I didn't want to chance it. Uh, so what we did is just unhook the cable so the outer booms don't uh, unfold and then uh, and then strap those together and then just load it on and unfolded the booms but overall I think it worked out really well Samson has been just hanging out um, just rode really good but uh, we're in Bay City here yet so I have a two and a half three hour drive home uh, just wanted to check all the straps but yeah we got it century boom 16 feet does have the telescoping uh, uh lift as well to go even higher uh but the biggest thing is this actually has hydraulic fold uh, which my previous one didn't have and the boom's in good shape so we'll hit the road and see how it goes so i just wanted to give some background quick on uh i guess why why i picked up the uh spray broom today um, so I had had videos from last year of me uh, um, side dressing with the sprayer I had. Um, it was a 500 gallon uh, summer sprayer uh, with a 60 foot boom. I had actually found that out in South Dakota. Um, I had been looking on Tractor House for a uh, um, for a sprayer. Um, I really wanted to go with the three-point sprayer uh, just because of, like I said before, the fields. Um, it it uh, tromps less. Um, it seemed to fit good with the tractor. Um, so last year, uh, well, it was actually August of 2017, I found this uh, the sprayer, the summer sprayer out in South Dakota. Uh, arranged for it to get delivered. Um, I just <laughs> basically looked at pictures for it and uh, um, got it back last spring, put all new uh, hoses on it, you know, but the biggest thing that I uh, didn't really take into account is just, was just the uh, kind of how the boom was built um, and and, and what I ran into last year is it just really wasn't a heavy enough uh, built boom 
I feel like it was a poor design so it was a manual fold uh, but I thought like manual fold as in like fold out the outer wings then fold it into an X this you folded the outer wings up but then had the uh, pivot and so that pivot was uh, it needed to be loose enough that you could manhandle the boom to get it to, to spray up or to fold up but then it uh, it yeah it wasn't tight enough that when you'd be out in the field they just want to break away and, and, and fold forward so uh, there was a lot of times last year I'd be out um, spraying and all of a sudden the boom would come forward and have to get out and jam into the ground uh, but then the other thing is it just wasn't uh, it was it was on its last legs and, and this isn't anything um, the the dealership I bought it from they definitely it wasn't like they hit anything or anything like that um, I am one of those that I seem to just buy stuff uh, if it's a good deal and I think it's a good price I'll just buy it um, I won't go look at it um, sometimes the uh, with working full time and then having uh, Hudson at home, it's just uh, it's not very convenient to to be on the road just going to look at things. But then the the downside is, is obviously <laughs> I can buy something that uh, uh, you know wasn't exactly uh, what I'd wanted. So this year, I actually there's uh, you there's uh, Facebook pages that you can look for stuff for sale or post wanted ad. So I posted a wanted ad uh, for a three-point sprayer. Uh, the gentleman over in Bay City contacted me, which was amazing uh, because this fit exactly what I wanted. Uh, but I did think about mounting the uh, this boom on the back of the existing sprayer, uh, take the old boom off, mount this, um, and then use the tank. Uh, but then I was actually able to find uh, Another friend actually reached out and he was selling a 300 gallon tank on the front that fits on the front of an 8R series um, for, for reasonable. So so my thought is have the front tank on, the, on that for the sprayer. We are going down 200 gallons. Um, it's more convenient now though that the, uh, the boom folds up uh, hydraulically. Um, so uh, it's kind of a wash there if I was doing thousands of acres a 300 gallon tank would wouldn't be adequate but I'm not so uh, I'm, I'm happy with that and then also I can sort of use that uh, that tank on for the planter as well to supplement so uh, the planter has a 500 gallon tank uh, but then I could put 800 gallons on really the liquid has never been my uh, hold up you're probably getting sick of just staring at traffic this entire time. Um, I would have this face me. I'm just not, I'm just not one that's comfortable having the camera on me. So, uh, so I do apologize for that. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll have Samson hold it back and, uh, and you can watch Samson. But anyways, uh, I'm excited to get this back. Uh, it will make it easier have the front tank on the front of the 8245R uh, go with this boom uh, overall yes it was a it was a mistake probably to have bought the other one um, I'm learning uh, <laughs> uh, I always hate to do the live and learn because you can only make so many mistakes until you just are mistake prone but um, I think there's there's obviously I'm gonna use take the pump off it the sprayer did come with the Raven 440 so uh, that I'm gonna still use so if you if you start um, knowing what I paid for the sprayer from South Dakota uh, but then being able to take the pump off uh, take all the valves and uh, the, the um, control valves and everything like that the monitor um, I do think uh, you know, I'll get enough value, plus you can scrap the boom uh, after taking all the parts off it that you may need. But this will just really help me so much better um, this next year. So I'm gonna stop talking and uh, get back to driving, but I just wanted to give a quick update on it. How you doing, Sam's? You like when the window gets open? Yeah, big guy. 
such a pretty boy. Now those would be some impressive bins to have. Wow. Or these bins. Wow. Another nice setup. I've been obviously way too much. Samson. Hi, Sams. Hi, Samson. Well, we made it back. Easy, uh, easy trip. Um, Samson, Samson approves. We just brought it back to my house here. Um, I'll take it up to the, the farm um, another day, but we'll get turned around and uh, back it, back it up by the barn. So I'll probably do another video um, later on. Uh, just walking through this and going over everything uh, but made it back okay and overall I'm really excited about this uh, this sprayer um, especially with the front tank so um, yeah if you can see my excitement I, I am really excited it should be it should be really nice uh, for what I need it for so we'll go from there mm -hmm.